we're talking research and technology at the Sports Science Laboratory, Jack Roja, Ghent University. As athletes continue to push the boundaries of human performance through advances in training, recovery, and technology, the role of scientific analysis grows in importance. Coaching teams collect data on their athletes and use the result to meticulously construct training plans looking for the smallest of advantages in the pursuit of greatness. The role of science in sports is quite important but we don't have to overestimate it or underestimate it. I think you must see what kind of athlete you have. And we are speaking about high performance sport, it means Olympic Games, it means World Championships. And then you have to look at the athlete, that's the first thing. And for me you have two kinds of athletes. You have the natural, I always call them genetic mutants. Mentally, physically, they are strong, they are prepared. And you give them the appropriate channel, they will perform. On the other side, you have also the talented guys. The difference is they have some weaknesses. And there is science very important. With the stakes involved at the professional level of competition as high as they are, coaches and athletes want to use cutting edge science and technology that is rigorously tested and proven to work before they apply it to their training. Research centers such as the Sports Science Laboratory provide the perfect environment for detailed research into athletic performance to be conducted. This laboratory in itself is predominantly a research laboratory. We try to translate the research that we perform here into evaluation of athletes to enhance their physical performance level to go to Olympics or to World Championships. We know that once we can find something that might even only help the athlete in a few percentages to increase performance, that's really a stimulus, a motivation to continue the research and to try to find something where athletes might benefit from. The Sports Science Laboratory utilized state-of-the-art equipment such as climate chambers, split belt treadmills, high-speed video cameras, and eye tracking equipment. In the field of biomechanics, the use of this equipment is invaluable in gaining insights into the way that athletes move. On a basic level, biomechanics is uh, measuring the kinematics, so the movement of the athlete, uh, measuring the interaction with the surroundings, which is mostly measuring the forces that are caused by the movement, then combining them into biomechanical models. Kinematics are measured with all kinds of camera systems through marks which are uh, mounted onto the moving body. And that gives us the 3D kinematics of the people that are moving. Then we come with the combination with the kinematics and the ground reaction forces. We study the impact severity in athletes in different conditions. Behind me, you can see a split belt treadmill where the subject is walking on, surrounded by a 3D motion capture system. So with this setup, we can measure three-dimensional kinematics with the camera system, but also ground reaction forces with the force plates that are built in inside the split belt treadmill. One of our main topics is about impact in long distance running, so impact severity. Uh, why is that important? Uh, impact is a risk factor for the development of overuse injuries. When you run, there are different ways to place your foot on the ground. You have people with a heel strike, touch the ground with the heel part, the midfoot strike, people that land with a more or less flat foot, and the forefoot strike, people who land more towards the toes. We found a new category of heel strike runners. They make first contact with the ground with the heel part of the foot, but they quickly move towards the more anterior parts of the foot. That way they do not use the cushioning properties of the shoe under the heel and the kinematic strategies that are used by a typical rear foot strike. And as such, these patterns, which we call atypical rear foot strike patterns, are also characterized by the highest impact intensity. I hope that our research um, gains a lot of new insights about the relationship between runners' biomechanics and injury susceptibility. That way we can learn new things and how to learn runners adopt running styles that are less harmful for them. <laughs>